Ladies and gentlemen, Charles from the capital of Republika Srpska, part of Bosnia and Herzegovina. You know me, I, I just don't like to say all that. But I'm scared if I don't say all that, somebody's going to be offended because it's a very touchy thing. When you say Republika Srpska, the other folks are going to be angry. When I don't say Republika Srpska and I say Bosnia Herzegovina, the Serbian part's going to say, ah, you didn't say Republika Srpska. Very complex area. I don't want to get involved with it because I love everybody. I'm a nice guy, okay? But, you know, I was just thinking here, sitting here in this lovely park, right by the fortress, one of the most immaculately taken care of fortresses with no graffiti. They did one hell of a job here in Banja Luka to keep this fortress as beautiful as it is. Uh, I was just sitting here thinking, diversity. When so many people think about this region, you think of division and Muslims living here, Orthodox living here, because fresh war. This just happened in the early 90s. There was vicious, bloody battles in this region. And I'm just sitting here in the middle of this park, not 500 feet away is a mosque, a jamia for the Muslims. And this is a, this is a Serb-dominated, Orthodox-dominated area that everybody says, oh, the Serbs don't like the Muslims, they don't, they don't respect the Muslims. There's a jamia right in the center of the city. You look over here to my right, you've got the Orthodox Church, not even 400 feet away from the mosque. So that tells me, you know, that a lot of that is propaganda. I was talking to a, a, a gentleman in a little village. He was a Serbian Orthodox gentleman from a little village in Bieljina, right around Bieljina, in the option of Bieljina, over in the, what, the, the eastern part of Republika Srpska Bosnia and Herzegovina. And uh, he would, we were sitting down drinking some rock, he had discussing. I typically don't like to mention the war to older folks, but he was willing. He asked me, he said, Charles, what did you hear about this region in your media and newscasts in the United States? And I said, well, what I do remember about the Bosnian war, when we heard about it, what we heard was that the Serbian Orthodox were killing the Muslims and the Muslims were killing the Serbians. And it was a religious war. People hated each other and they were killing each other for that reason, just because of the religion. And he said, you know what? He said, that is a lot of bullshit right there. He said, because here in my little village, he said, we're really close to the Federation. And we had a lot of Muslims that lived just right next door to him. He's an Orthodox gentleman, very proud Orthodox gentleman. His neighbors are very proud Muslims. He said, at that time, during Ramadan, his family would go to the Muslim family to celebrate Ramadan. During the Slava, the, the Muslim family, his neighbors would come to his house and celebrate the Slava. He said, during that war, you had these little factions of really nasty people on both sides. And he said, whenever those, the Scorpions and such, whatever they were from uh, the Republic of Srpska side, would come into that area, him being an Orthodox, he would help the Muslims, hide the Muslims, tell them, hey, get out, go here, hide there, whatever. The same thing happened when those evil, uh, the evil section of the Muslim uh, army came into that region. The Muslim gentlemen would come over and say, hey, you guys hide here, save here. They helped each other with food and things. So a lot of that stuff you hear in the media is bullshit. And this is a pure example of how diversity is still going on in this region. They don't hate each other. They can live together. And Serbian people here in Republic of Serbska, very proud people, allow a Jamia to be right in the center of the city, right next to an Orthodox church. And that's it. Dovi Virginia.